For the past three days, Red Lake Nation's Chemical Health Program has been hosting their annual community wellness gathering at Red Lake Nation Community College. The gathering featured a number of guest speakers whose presentations covered a variety of different topics regarding health and addiction recovery. For more on the story, here's Justin Othout. Health and wellness are incredibly important values to everyday life, and for the past three days, Red Lake Nation's Chemical Health Program has hosted their annual community wellness gathering to offer resources for health whether that be mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual. We bring, bring in speakers with different uh, skills, uh, ranging from any, anywhere from uh, nutrition, the harm reduction, just all a range of different topics and issues to try and meet the needs of the people that we serve. While not the sole focus of the event, addiction and overcoming it was very much a key point that was addressed in any form it might take. No matter what type of addiction you may be suffering, people are still dealing with alcoholism, gambling, or, you know, maybe even some health issues. In an effort to show support and solidarity for those in recovery while also paying respect to Native culture, the gathering named Tuesday Rock Your Ribbons for Recovery Day. That's why you see so many beautiful ribbon skirts and shirts people are wearing. It's a way we show our support for people in recovery through our culture and the, the beauty of our culture. Each day at the gathering saw community members flocking to Red Lake Nation College in abundance, creating an experience that will surely be remembered by all in attendance. It's great to see all these people come in. Uh, we have our neighbors from uh, Leech Lake, uh, Bemidji, uh, White Earth. That's really cool to see these, uh, our brothers and sisters from other nations and our surrounding towns like Bemidji come in and uh, enjoy the conference. And, you know, we're supposed to have a, a 200 max, but I think we've exceeded that, that number. That part alone, may, you know, really feels good to me. I, I, it's hard to explain the feeling you get from that. Reporting in Red Lake, I'm Justin Othout, Lakeland News. The gathering concluded with a raffle offering locally made goods such as scarves, blankets, and suitcases as prizes. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.